All right, starting our morning off, gonna head down to the station so that we can make our way out to Osaka. Today is our very last day in Kyoto. Uh, we've only been here one day and it was nice. We visited a bunch of temples. Um, and now we are en route to the Staciones. Good morning. Check out the jacket oh, I'm wearing God. for the first day. Oh God. You do look pretty fly. You promise? Yeah. So Gina introduced me to this brand of gummies. Oh, it's so yummy. And they're so yummy because they're super sour. You know what the name of the, the gummies are called? Don't look at it. Yeah. What? Fettuccine. You looked at it, you little no. liar. Oh, there it is. Liar. <laughs> she told me yesterday that that was funny because oh, yeah. it's not really fettuccine, but... But it's shaped like it, though. That's yeah. Why. It's really cute. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes. But it's funny because it's only like 9 a.m. and I already eating candy, which is not too abnormal, but I already had my first meal at Pop Bear got me my crab sushi crab. in the morning. Sand crabs. Hey, <laughs> you haven't done that in a minute actually. You know what I like when uh, people, they hear our inside stuff and they go on our comments and put that in. Yeah. So my, my most recent picture, there's people putting hashtag sand crabs. You go, sand crab. <laughs> all right, well, this is what the locals do out here. They all go to work and school. I'm pretty sure these are all tourists. Probably. <laughs> now that I, when I turn the camera around, I'm like, wait a minute. None of them look. We like all them. look like tourists. <laughs> Everyone oh. has a bubble jacket. Bubble jacket. Look at these is a shops. Giveaway of a tourist. Really? Are you a tourist? Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Oh wow. The, did you see how that it, it jiggles? It's shaking. Yeah. Oh, look at those kitty cats down there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to start some shit. <laughs> oh, she's a store owner. They don't give a fuck out here. Such a beautiful walk in the morning. Domo <laughs> Aligato. <laughs> <laughs> quail. That's quail? That's like snake oil. Oh. What I like about Asia is there's no such thing as wasted space. Specifically Japan. Um, there's been so many occasions where I feel like people would just need to walk around me because there's no space. But they find that little cut between us, like that little amount of space, and they're like, perfect, there's plenty of space, and they cut right in there. Or they like, they put their body in there, and I'm like, oh shit. What I thought was no room, there's actually plenty of room. So they make it work, I think that's dope. All right, here we go, about to buy some tickets. I think Joe's trying to figure out what line to take. And Mario. Where are we going right now? Osaka. Oh, <laughs> good morning. We're going to Osaka. Ohio gozaimasu. She's buying her ticket. Oh, because this is all JR Pass and we have J... Uh, oh, we're doing it back. <laughs> we are on our way to Osaka right now. You know how cute these floors are? They tell you where to line up. Something I've really liked about what I've seen out here in terms of the fashion is back home, we like to use a lot of like Japanese letters and, and words, but that's made in America. So I'm sure when we come to Japan wearing those clothes, it makes no sense to the locals out here. And I've actually seen the reverse where I'm out of here and I see a lot of people wearing American words. And like something I read recently was like personality nominated kindness award. And I'm like, what does that even mean? But it was so huge on his chest and I bet he thought, yeah, this shit's tight because it's from the US. And it just sounded really funny because it says personality nominated. That's all it said. And then way at the bottom in smaller text, it said kindness award. I don't know what that means, but I think it's tight. I think it's cool, take it. The station is freaking intense. Look at that. We are now in Osaka. And I have.
have no idea what we're about to do here. So I am a pretty chill person when it comes to traveling. I really could care less where we're going, what we're doing. I'm just down to do it because I've never been there. So I'm always open to any idea um, of anything. So that's why I never know where the hell we're going. Especially in a group like this, I trust everyone here. So I never feel like we're gonna be lost. But in the event that we are lost, I'm pretty chill about it. I don't care. I'm like, hey, this is cool. This is something I would have never seen, you know, otherwise. So I still get a really cool experience out of it. I'm putting it on the spot because I'm over. Yeah. You know how what? So awkward. Did it did it It's about to go down. So I came to the Shabu Shabu place and this is my first Shabu Shabu experience in Japan. So I had to go hard. I got the most expensive one. What does that mean? Well, it usually means it's the finest cut of meat, which is the most marble and the most fatty, the most flavorful, the softest. And uh, I get this plate of appetizers. What do you think you're everything is? This is probably beef. This is lotus. Lotus root. What about the other stuff? Um, this is salmon roe. I don't know what's underneath it. What about she was this? apologizing that there's no extra appetizer for the kid. What about um, this? This? Oh. Crab meat and something. Vinegar, possibly. Mm. Um, yeah. And then this will be our broth. She's gonna make ponzu for us. Oh, cool. Oh, she's gonna make ponzu? Yeah, she's gonna get it ready. Oh, cool. I think she's gonna rate it, yeah. Portable beds? Yeah. Look at all of this meat. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I was serious though. I was like, the, the portable back. bed was, on the back? I swore I learned from something. <laughs> no, I, she was like, the heart lied to me. No, last night when I got home, I'm like, oh yeah, part by the way. And uh, this one. Yeah. Oh. Toku <laughs> matsu so we are on our way to the Osaka Castle. Castle. <laughs> Castle this guy. And we're actually here now, but it takes about an 18 minute walk. It's because actually it's huge. To reach the castle. Because it's huge. And then these are part of the fortress walls, Joe said. Because there's a bunch of signs everywhere that say that. <laughs> I thought he was smart. I thought he had like all this history. He could tell us because he's like a documentary freak. Um, so he knows like everything about everything. But uh, and so I'm like, so I was like, oh shit, he actually knows about this stuff. But no, it's just written on, on the walls. There it is. You guys see that? How cool is that? Ooh, good voice. I don't know if there's any words to this song. La 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 da die. La la da 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 die. Ooh. Sounds good. What'd you tell Isaac? You can only have one time to get on your shoulders? So, what I realized is Isaac's been asking me about 47 times a day to get on my shoulders. And, uh,. I want her to know, and I wanted him to know, that getting on someone's shoulders is a privilege. So I gave him one chance a day to ask me to be on the shoulders, and he has to choose it wisely so he doesn't abuse his privilege. And he chose a very smart time to use it, because we're gonna go to the castle, and he wants to get a really good view. So he's not wasting it on a regular, just walking down the street time. He's using it where he can get a good view of the castle. Is there a time limit? Uh, whenever I get tired. Oh. Wow, a nice pick this time. So I'm All right. My best to, so hopefully I can last at least 15 minutes. All right, good luck, Isaac. I hope he, he can last for an hour. <laughs> okay. If uh. Or like 30 minutes. I'll try my best. It's 2:30 right now. Let's see how long it lasts. Look at this. I'm not even in the castle yet. This is sick. When the first first intruders would come in, they'd close this. 
What is this made out of? Let me see. Wow. <laughs> he would lower this one and then close this. Look at that. He would close that. Look at this. All of this. Dang, I wonder how many, I wonder how heavy this thing is. Oof. I know I can't do that by myself. We haven't even reached the castle yet. It's up there in the sun. So, in addition to the moat that I showed you out there, there's another one over here. going on. What the? This is so pretty. Look at this. And the castle is. Up yeah, there. Double motation. What does that mean? So there was a moat outside. There's another moat in here. So that way if the intruders pass the bulletproof gates, they have to swim across again to get into the gate again. Yep. That's how much protection they have. What the heck? Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. Oh, there's a little ride. A little boat ride. Beautiful trees. I'm actually a huge, huge, huge fan of trees. Trees of all sorts, all species. And this out here, look at these. They look like a weeping willow tree. I love these. So beautiful. Whoa. I have a feeling this bridge was built after the fact and for the sake of tourists. It doesn't make sense to have a moat and then have a bridge to it. Well, they still need a way to get through. I know. But it's not even covered or anything here. I think they had like a drawbridge. Possibly, they got lower the gates. And they lower the gates. Whoa, There's the castle. Oh. Closer. Oh, 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 my leg. That is oh, beautiful. My Holy crap. Oh, Do you think they had any like piranhas oh, or anything in the moat? Did it have what? Piranhas or any like deadly sharks? Maybe. But it does get or alligators during the winter, so the oh. is over. But it is possible they might put some Whoa, look at that. I know, I would. How big these stones are. Holy crap. How the hell? Check all this out. Look at all those rocks. Oh my god. Unfortunately, there's construction. So it kind of takes away from like how majestic this place looks right now. <laughs> Wow. But look at that. that is Holy crap, that's gorgeous. Little Ooh. steps. Look, my foot doesn't even fit. All right, tell me about these holes. These holes are where archers or spear throwers get ready. So they have, a, they have all kinds of cover while they can see their target. And the right hand is ready, they go, Arigato gozaimasu, bam! And then they shoot them down. How cool. <laughs> They're all here. Yeah. This design is very universal in all kinds of castles. So this hole is a little bit smaller because Asian eyes are smaller. Stupid. <laughs> but if you go to like uh, a lot of the medieval castles, if you see the top of the castle has that shape, it's the same. Serves the same purpose. This one looks like it, it shelters more. Yeah, it's it also shields, way more. It shields way more. more. Yeah. So it's a very similar purpose. Great. And then the castle's right there. So beautiful. Sorry, my finger was in the frame. I think it more grand. Look at this motherfucking shit right here. Yup, I'm cussing like a motherfucker because I have no other words to express how fucking crazy this looks right now. Oh my goodness. We just finished taking a picture and it doesn't do it justice. Babe! It's gotta be taken over here. 
I'm telling him we have to take a picture over here. Beautiful view. Way better. Alright. I'm gonna get David. Look at this. I'm gonna get David to take a picture and then you're gonna see it on our Instagram. So if you wanna see the actual picture, go on our Instagram at Barquan at Jim. Look oh, at this. David, we need your help again. And even oh my god. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It's breathtaking. God, I wish this camera would, or I, not this camera, me. I wish I knew how to use this camera better. It's like I'd give this castle more justice. Do it more justice. I can't even talk. Look at the details. Let me try to zoom in. You want some info on this bad boy? Actually, some info. Built in 1583 and it was in use from 1583 all the way till 1868. The Osaka Castle is a Japanese castle in Chuo, Osaka, Japan. It's one of Japan's famous landmarks and it played a major role in the unification of Japan during the 16th century of the Azuchi, of the Azuchi Momoyama period. And there's a lot of uh, people committed suicide in here, especially after uh, there's uh, they got invaded and it fell down. During the fall of the Osaka Castle. It's beautiful. This is. If you want to read more about this, just uh, all you gotta do is Google Osaka Castle in Wikipedia and they got all kinds of info. It's beautiful. Beautiful for sure. I don't want to bug you though. No, you just, just, just throw them in there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? This is the fucking dopest shit on earth. Why? This is my favorite, favorite part of Japan. This is a big ass motherfucking castle. You see this shit? Y'all fucked up. You got a regular commercial office space. What the fuck didn't you get one of these? You know what you can do in here? You can beat your children in here. Nobody will say shit. It's too big. People can't find out. Kick their ass to them in the closet. Look at the details on this bitch. Look at that. And who the fuck were all the slaves that brought over here? I should know. <laughs> Big ass stones. Who? So it's the families that live around here. They contributed to it. And in every family that brought in a stone, some of the stones have the engraved marks of the family. What the? Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, they brought uh, these stones from the sea over there. What the I was reading about it on Wikipedia. So I'm pretty sure like the people who brought the biggest stones were like the shit. Like that's my motherfucking stone. That big ass one right there that I lost four children for. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> no seriously though, why is this the favorite part? I love castles. What about them? I, I, I like Japanese architecture oh. specifically. Yeah, it is and beautiful. Because it's also too, it's very similar to Korean stuff too. You know what I mean? And there's like a little small minute details. Well, I wouldn't say small minute details from like from like our architecture versus like Japanese architecture. It's very similar, and you can tell like everything is bitten off of Chinese. <laughs> it's like Chinese, and then a little yeah. bit of adjustments, and there's Korean, a little bit of adjustments, and then yeah. you have Japanese. Chinese stuff seems to be really, really complicated. Like when you look, when I looked at the buildings, it's a lot more ornate, a yeah, lot more, more ornate. adornments, a lot more gold. You know. Yeah. Even the angle at which the roofs curve is like more exaggerated. Mm, yeah, yeah, this yeah. That's right. Simpler. That's right. This is just trying to show off and stuff. Is anybody, are there people actually in there? Yeah, they're up there in that mesh. Let me oh, see. It's, not, it's a non so everyone can just discover this whole place. Yeah. We got an hour. There's people up there actually staring down at us. And a part of me is really glad that there's fence. Well, a huge part of me just because I don't want any accidents and uh oh, bye bye, splat. <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm American and Americans are fucking pieces of shit. Um, I don't want people throwing stuff down here because at that height, if something comes down here, you're definitely dying for sure. Even if it's a penny or one cent. What's awesome about this place? You know what else I read about this? This castle has five visible external floors. If you look at it, it's one, two, three, four, and five. This bad boy also has five additional floors underground. Oh, crap. So that's smart. They got all this protection. So when people come out, they don't know that, and they're trying to attack. Pew, 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 and they killed everybody. And they're like, ha, 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 we're going to go inside. Once they go inside, boom, met with the army of ninjas. So it, all the so, important stuff is down there. Yep. And down here. Inside. Genius. Japones. David was saying that at first he never knew what he would do with the billion dollars. But after he saw this, he knew exactly what he would do. And you all said all that bullshit about me opening up a charity? Fuck that. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I cut, David. How do you really feel? It's cut. <laughs> what is that up there? It does look western. Yes, uh, Alfred Yamazaki. <laughs> we going, baby? We're going inside the castle. Inside, I tell you. This is the first Japanese flag I've seen this whole trip. Oh yeah. We don't need flags as reminders. No, the whole country's a reminder. They're pretty fucking. You know exactly what the hell you have. Patriot, yeah. What is in there? What are all these things? Super dope. Okay. This cannon was not only used for defense, but also as a noon marker. So during noon time, they would blast it off and the whole city would know, it's noon time. With empty, right? That I don't know, they didn't talk about that, but it's a noon marker, boom, everyone knows, okay, half the day's over, gotta keep killing it. What happened to like the rest of the people in this, in other countries where they just use the church bells? They ain't got no church bells. Oh, fuck. These motherfuckers is warriors. You got time for that bullshit. I would do the same thing too. If after, if in our office, once JK Films is over, or JK News were done filming, I'll take my gum out. <laughs> Everybody knows it's time to go lunch. And then oh, uh, we're at the restaurant, get back to work. Wow, this is so dope. Let's see how long I can film this for. It says it depicts in front of Whatever, whatever temple. Shitenoji temple. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love this because it's like a mixture of history and old. And like we're in like a palace built in the late 1500s. And then you have all the building architecture of the modern, modern world all together. That's where we walked in from. Over there. Wow, look at all this. Do you get scared looking down? No, it's not very high. Ugh. Really? This is pretty fucking high. You get scared looking down this? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, because the floor is down there. You're looking at this where it's not the floor. The floor is over there. So it's a lot lower than what you think. It's pretty I'm fucking high. i looking at that grass right there. Mm. They're, they're trying to preserve this. Oh, yeah. So they cover it up. That's really cool. This isn't covered, but this is. Original ornaments. It's even more dense over here. Now this is even more beautiful there. It's beautiful. So to conclude this castle trip, what were your thoughts? I thought it was amazing, because uh, number one, I love old school stuff, so I love historical pieces, and I was able to learn about Hideyoshi Toyotomi, and he was the, he's this guy that was like a working class, normal citizen, 
and he worked all the way all, all the way up to the top and he became a shogun and he was the one that actually unified all of the warring states of Japan. So he came from nothing and he came and he became the ultimate warlord and ruler. They call it Daimo of Japan, which is pretty fucking awesome. And uh, he built this and uh, unifying Japan wasn't enough. He also went over to Korea and invaded Korea as well. So I didn't think we were gonna say all that. I was gonna say a little bit of that, but yeah, pretty much what Bart said. Um, it was a pretty dope history lesson in terms of you know Japanese culture. Um, but what I thought was kind of slightly disappointing was that they didn't have more actual um, like furniture or things that were of that era. Like the few items that they did have, they were all enclosed and in boxes, which makes sense. But I thought I would see, I don't know, something. And, and you know the reason why? It's because the building burned down twice. So it's so we couldn't walk into an actual historical building. This is a rebuild, so it just became a museum of a bunch of relics. Yeah, I mean, I guess my expectations were like how I've been to other, um, like, like the temple that we're at. Yeah, where you see like original items, but it is what it is, and I'm glad that I was fortunate enough to I guess experience what that museum had to offer. Yeah, that so was really nice. Yeah, it was really nice that Isaac was able to play with my nipples right now. What the heck? While you were talking, he was like squeezing my nipples. He's turning, he's turning into Tokyo. <laughs> but I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. But I love it. Oh, I can feel my face when I'm with you. But I love it. Go to school, go to school. We have to find them. They didn't wait for us at all. They didn't wait for us at all. Train tracks. 